Okay, we're gonna drain the chain case and uh, go through, check everything, clean it all out. Um, I'll put a new gasket on and I'll refill it. So this is a 3 16 um, Allen. And there is a drain plug, surprisingly. Oh, she's nice. Nice and chocolate brown. That's gonna be dirty. Stinks too. Look at that. It's like coffee. Hey, some actual clean stuff's coming out. Alright, what do we got here? Probably 10 millimeter. One, two, three, four, 10 millimeter bolts. This one's going to need a little 10 millimeter wobble. Get down in there with this one. I'm going to have to crack this case. Oh, look at that. Come right off nice. Look at that. Oh, everything looks pretty clean, other than that it's a little soupy, but not bad. Not bad. Phew. Sure does stink. Chain tensions is good. We'll leave that just like that. That's good. Bearing's good in that. Things tight. Let me clean this up and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so it says to set this, turn it finger tight all the way till it stops, where you can't turn it anymore, and then back it up just enough for that hole to line up for the cotter pee. And that's supposed to be set, I guess. Just like that. Okay, so that's set. <clears throat> so I bought a new, uh, I didn't know how this O-ring was. So I'm going to put that in. This is a 415-046-400. 415046400. So I'll install that. I'll dig the old one out. Get a hook. Captain Hook. Yeah, there's the old one. Seems fine. I mean if you you could have used you could have reused that really. Uh, I just wanted to get it <clears throat> all brand new. I'll clean this all out. Make sure there's nothing in there. I'll put the new one in.
Okay. Now we got that all installed. We'll wipe this all off. Get this all cleaned up. Okay. Back on. This one had the spring bracket on it. Okay. Needs to get torqued to 53 inch pounds. I'll just go around and go slow with these. Torque them evenly. I'll run them all up to 30. This one for the bottom one. Right now we're collapsing the O-ring against the case, so... Three point five eight fifty three fifty three. All right, so we'll do the last one, and then this is done. We'll just add our fluid. So now we just got to add fluid, 8.5 ounces. Okay, so it calls for 8.5 ounces, so right to the rim of this, so 8.5 ounces. We'll put that in there and then we'll check it. And this is what I'm using. Uh, synthetic chain case oil XPS Okay. Take and put a little bit of this on the O rings.
We'll let that set a second, and then we'll check it. Let's see what we got now. Oh, perfect, right there. Right at the upper part. All right, we're good to go. Done.